Hello and welcome back. So we've arrived at the end of round one of our challenge. So first of all, I wanted to start off by taking a look here on the light table. This on the right is Silver EFX um, 2's Ilford Delta 400. This one here on the left is the Ilford Delta 400 from uh, Raw Therapy. As you can see, they're not exactly the same. Uh, you zoom in here. The one from Silver FX Pro has a little more grain to it. Um, it also has a slight sharper look, especially apparent if you look here. There's a bit m more sharpness to the um, Elsa than there is here. Um, and so it's possible that you know, you could say, okay, there's less noise, less grain in the raw therapy one. There's more in the Silver FX. Silver FX. Um, hard to say which one is 100% more accurate, but uh, I thought that was interesting. But overall, you know, similar tonality to the image. All right, so let's clear the light table and let's bring up all the challengers all right and i might end up removing some of these once uh once i get them loaded up all right all right so here we have siri effects cropped so their effects non-cropped we're not going to worry about non-cropped i'm going to remove that one okay here is the Ilford 400. Um, let's see. All right, that's fine. It's not a copy of another one. We'll get rid of this one. All right, so let's see which one uh, happens to be the one that I like the most. So I'm going to start off here. This one is the Silver FX2. I'm going to put on the left side. Okay. Um, this one is the one I did in Silver FX, but not emulating the Ilford Delta. And there's a lot to um, say good for this photo. Um, we have a lot of good clarity, a lot of detail in this image. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. A lot of detail in this image. Um, and it's a nice black and white. There's some good tonality. It's not too noisy. And it's not, um, you know, it doesn't need more noise. So that's good. All right, so let's put on the right the Ilford Delta from Raw Therapy. So, just taking a look at it, we've lost everything over here, um, and it's a bit muddier, so I'm going to say this one is not a winner of this round. So, Raw Therapies, Ilford Delta, you're gone from this round. Okay, this one here is Raw Therapy um, on its own. Um, so again, we don't quite have the dots quite the same as we do in the Silver FX Pro. Um, but we do seem to have um, similar levels of sharpness. I'm going to say that uh, this one gets to stay for now. Um, this is the Silver EFX for Delta. Um, I'm going to say I'm not as much of a fan of it. Uh, I'm going to let this one go away. And that leaves us with the GIMP. This is the um, GIMP's gimmick, gimmick or gimmick plugin. And um, between this one and the one I created in Raw Therapy, um, the dots are a little sharper like they are here not quite as sharp as they are here uh, or as um, apparent 
um, but they're there. Uh, and I still have my silver EFX, EFX on the left side. All right, so let's 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 get in close here. So here's the GIMP. Here's here's silver FX. Okay. And here is the raw therapy. So I'm going to tell you that just looking at the just looking at the faces. These are all really good photos. They all have a clarity to them as opposed to a softness. Um, they all have good tonality. Um, there's a bit more of a shadow here than there is in the raw therapy, but um, I did work a little bit to reduce that. Um, let's see. Let's, let's get all the way out again. Fit to window. Let's look here. So I'm going to say that for this round, I'm going to knock out raw therapy because I'm just getting a little bit of a deeper, deeper blacks here that I'm really liking that I don't have here. And it doesn't mean I couldn't get it in raw therapy, but you saw my process. I was just kind of trying to do the best I can without spending forever on these photos. So I'm going to, I'm going to knock that one out. So that leaves Gimp Gimmick versus Silver FX Pro 2. Both similar highlights here. A little more darkness here, but I did do the control point here to kind of eliminate some of that. So that's um, in Gimp, if I wanted to use um, layers and blending and stuff, I could achieve the same thing. Now, Silver FX Pro does do it more easily. You know, I did just eliminate uh, raw therapy for you know I probably could reach the same the same look but not quite as easily and I'm kind of looking back and forth looking back and forth at the different images looking at the um, the boundary between light and dark looking at the sharpness of Elsa looking at these dots over here um, you know looking at the face looking at the uh, the background I have to say it's it's almost a tie. They're they're to me to me they, I find them very similar. I find it really hard to pick a clear winner. Let me just take another another close up look. Let's let's go to 100% here. Let's go to 100% here. call very tough call you know what I'm gonna say that for round one let's see let's get back out to 50 I'm gonna say that for round one this is this is a tie I think that they both produced competent good images um, I'll tell you that I am surprised I thought that uh, raw therapy with all its um, configuration would lead me to the best image. Um, there is something to be said for um, programs like Gamic and SilverFX Pro um, too, in that they can kind of guide you in the right direction more easily. If you so, if I already knew what I wanted, if I already knew that it was important to me that you know the the little domino pattern next to Elsa stood out that she was so sharp that you know the 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 definition was the way it was the contrast the clarity then I could have done that in raw therapy I have no doubts about it but I have to know that's what I wanted whereas these programs kind of guide you there and that's kind of neat um, I will say on a usability front and you know what? I'll make this the tiebreaker. Um, Silver FX Pro 2 was better only because 
when I was using GIMP gimmick to the preview window that I had made it really hard to really understand what I was doing with the sliders other than moving them to the extreme points. Um, and so without creating hundreds and hundreds of uh, conversions in GIMP, I think it's it's not quite as user friendly. So I'm going to say that to me, the images both look great. It's a tie to my aesthetic, but in terms of user interface, I'm going to give it to SilverFX Pro too. So what I'd like to do is say that this is round one. Let's do um, best two out of three, if we can. I mean, we could have it, you know, it is possible to end up in a three-way tie, but um, I'm going to try another image, perhaps a landscape, perhaps a, um, per perhaps a portrait in which I don't produce so much contrast, because I was trying to say, all right, I, you know, black and white works well when there's contrasts as opposed to neutral images, but... I think I went a little too far in this image, and that may potentially skew the results. So I want to try a less contrasty portrait, and I want to try a landscape. And we'll see, based on those, if we end up with the same winners taking it next time. So thank you for watching, and I hope this has been informative, and I hope this helps you decide what you want to do. Now I will say one more thing, which is that um, SilverFX Pro um, needs to hook. I mean, there's ways to use it on its own, but really, to use it well, it needs to hook into Photoshop, Lightroom, Adobe Bridge, or something like that. And there are ways to make it hook into um, GIMP, but at the moment, it's a bit of a hacky workaround and that may change now that these are now that the Nick collection is free as in beer there may be a more of a a reason for people to say all right someone who didn't want to shell out the money for photoshop might still want to use these in gimp but given that you know you get really really great results with gimp gimmick and gimp is 100 percent free freeze in beer freeze in speech and gimp gimmick I think is also open source but at the very least it's 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 free as well it could be that could be the tipping point for you it could be that you can't afford or don't want to pay for or have moral qualms against photoshop well hey here you go you've got um, a solution that's more or less almost exactly the same and it's completely free so i'll see you on the next round and like i said i hope this will help you in your future when you're working on stuff all right thank you for